Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back! I'm not going anywhere! Boost! Peekaboo, I see you because I'm, that was the first try too, I'm YouTube Famous Now! Available Summer 2023, The Front Porch, Conspiracy Diaries, The Album, Dad, Shimmy Shimmy, F, <clears throat> I didn't do the shimmy part, Shimmy Shimmy, F, <clears throat> Rock on! Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to sing. I went to a party last Saturday night. Not really. I got real drunk. <laughs> I can't even remember the words. Oh my god. When I was in high school, I loved Lita Ford so much. Anyway, let's try this again. <clears throat> Cherry Bomb! That was the runaways with Lita Ford. Ch -ch 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 Cherry Bomb! Okay, <clears throat> Lita Ford. Let me channel my inner Lita Ford. I went to a party last Saturday night. I didn't get laid. I got in a fight. Uh-huh. Peace. Kiss me once. Come on, pretty baby. Kiss me deadly. One of my all-time favorite songs of life. <laughs> anyway, how are you guys doing today? We just got back from brunch. My husband is upstairs taking a nap in bed with a little Mr. Boo Radley. Don't you worry about Mr. Boo Radley. He's his own person doing his own thing. While I'm making videos, I did a grocery store haul because we went to Fresh Time afterwards. Out here, I did a grocery store haul in the kitchen and now I'm out here drinking my iced coffee that I brought home. Hold on a second, please. Mm. Delicioso. That I brought home from brunch. And I thought, well, when it's a Sunday and you're sitting on your front porch and your neighbor across the street, she's gardening because she's getting ready to go to a movie. Okay, she told me all about this movie and everything like that. But anyway. Why not make a Jaclyn Hill video? Why not double down and make a Jaclyn Hill video? Because yesterday I made a Jaclyn Hill video. But um, I have some new things to say about the, the, the topic at hand of Jaclyn Hill. I just have to tell you what is so funny is that um, I get comments on my videos from time to time that people are like, oh my God, can you imagine being Peter's neighbor across the street and, you know, like him shouting and flipping fans and all this kind of stuff. First of all, I just want y'all to know, okay, that I always ask my neighbors when they're outside, I always say, do you care if I make a video? Like, I'm going to be laughing. You know, they're like, no, we don't care. We think it's hilarious. We love listening to you and things like that, right? But you know what's interesting to me is I was sitting here and I had already checked with my neighbor and talked to her about going to her movie and everything like that. This other person walks down the street, okay? Full blast, talking on full volume on her phone. Hold on just a second. Um, she's talking on her phone and walking down the street. And this is what kills me. I was, I'm trying to set the settings on my phone so that I can uh, do my, my drama investigations research of the world. But she's on her phone like this and she's like, uh-huh, yes, Judy. Well, it says in Deuteronomy 116.43 uh -huh, that he that casts the first stone. No, Judy, it doesn't say that. No, it doesn't. It doesn't say anything about that at all. It's, no, what? Uh-huh, no, well, well, she's not a friend of Jesus's. Okay, it says in a... Uh, uh, Deuteronomy uh, 16, 4, 32, that, and I'm like sitting there and she's like shouting down the street about, okay, about biblical sayings. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying, right, honey? I'm saying, <laughs> she's not a Christian. Gargoyles, Ouija boards, Deuteronomies of the world. It kills me when people walk down the street in my neighborhood and they hold their phone out like this and they have them on speakerphone. Huh? Judy, Judy, uh -huh, Deuteronomy, uh -huh, 1643. No, it doesn't say nothing about Christian bake sales. No, I, I I do love your I love your lemon bars, uh huh. But Jesus said, uh huh. G, G, Jesus said. So anyway, <laughs> Jesus Jesus said that Jacqueline Hill was not a Kardashian. Anyway, today we're going to talk about Jacqueline Hill's TikTok of the world, which I have um, some new information about. Okay, that I'm going to talk about in just a second. But did y'all see? Jaclyn Hill coming out and on this TikTok she used a Taylor Swift song and then she talked about how Taylor Swift because you know she wants to ride the train of the Eras tur tour and tur <laughs> turn she wants to ride the she wants to ride the turn basically Jaclyn Hill's trying to ride the redemption turn okay and uh, so anyway she go right here like let's hand her the redemption turn she's trying to ride the turn is what she's trying to do but anyway so um <laughs> Jaclyn Hill is trying to you know like be, She's always riding somebody's coattails. And so now it's like, oh, Taylor Swift. You know, everybody's talking about Taylor Swift. And everybody's, listen, when we were coming back from Mexico, I just have to tell you, um, the status symbol was the Taylor Swift era's concert t-shirt, okay? Like, I swear to God, everywhere I turned, there were teenage girls that had that t-shirt on in the airport. And I was like, oh my God, did everybody in the world go this Taylor Swift? Listen, that, see, do you see that sunlight? Do you see that sunlight? 
That is Jesus saying you are forgiven for what you are about to say in this video, okay? And it is a Sunday, and this is church, so welcome to church. The same drama class, okay? This right here, boys and girls, this is church, okay? So anyway, um, but no, like in the airport, I was just like dying. I was like literally everywhere. I, I felt like the entire place had all gone to the ta Taylor Swift concert. But anyway, um... So she says in an uh, Instagram story that the nicest celebrity that she's ever met was Taylor Swift, okay? Now, she also goes on to say the second nicest celebrity she ever met was, okay? Do you know who that was? Can you ever guess in a million, in a million lifetimes who the second nicest celebrity that uh, Jaclyn Hill ever met was? Hey, how are you? Um, it, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I get so cringed out every time Jaclyn Hill talks about Kim Kardashian. Car Jaclyn Hill, Kaclyn Kardashian, she wants to be a Kardashian so bad. I mean, she uses them as examples. Well, the Kardashians don't speak out about their scandals, and the Kardashians this, and it's a luxury brand like the Kardashians, and it's so cringe. Like, she literally thinks that she is a Kardashian, okay? I'm like, gal, first of all, I don't, <laughs> I don't watch the Kardashians. My husband does. I don't know that that's a real status symbol to stand behind anyway, but she wants to be a S Kardashian so would y'all just adopt her and make her Kathleen Kardashian? Okay, please. Now, before I get into this video, I do need to use... Now, y'all know I'm not using the lip gloss anymore, okay? I didn't toss that over there into the weeds. It's still over there, okay? I don't know if it's growing lip glosses over there or whatever, but I got three um, chapsticks to tw choose from today, okay? I got the Twizzlers, and I have the Jolly Rancher Green Apple, and I have the Bubble Yum, okay? I think I'm going to use the Jolly Rancher. I think that one is going to make me speak sours of the world, okay? Like, I, I am feeling sour and bitter today. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, anytime that I get sarcastic and a little funny in, in videos, you know, I, God forbid that I, you know, make a joke or am a little sarcastic or nasty in a video, people... Well, my lords are so bitter. What happened? It's I, from now on. I'm just gonna say, listen. It was the green apple. <laughs> Blame it on the green apple. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was the green apple chapstick all day long, all day long. This woman's looking at me. Hey. So anyway, so we're gonna talk about Jaclyn Hill today. Now, if you didn't watch my video from yesterday, okay. Um, in my video from yesterday, <laughs> they truly. They're like, what is going on over there? We are not sure. So anyway, it's okay. Don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> Stay tuned in the theater near you. So yesterday, I did this video, and I was talking about Jaclyn Hill and her TikTok, okay? And in Jaclyn Hill's TikTok which I am going to throw up here somewhere for you. Let me pull it up. She says POV, okay, that for, for those of you that aren't millennials out there like me, okay, it says still using Jaclyn Hill's contaminated lipsticks four years later, all right, which I don't know what the expiration date is on those lipsticks, but contaminated or not, girl, I wouldn't be using a makeup product four years later, okay, and the amount of people under there that are like, I still use these lipsticks, I'm like, Y'all that want to talk about how you're makeup experts and you stand behind Jaclyn Hill and all this kind of stuff, you got a makeup guru, okay? You got a makeup guru that self-proclaimed had contaminated lipsticks. She came out in a video and apologized for these lipsticks, okay, that were so contaminated that she refunded her entire customer base for it and said it was her most embarrassing moment and that there was nothing appropriate about these lipsticks or how they were made and that they rushed. She even said that they rushed into it and all this kind of stuff, okay? So four years later, it's a joke. But this self claimed a beauty guru that has her own makeup brand, she's telling you it's okay to use expired lipsticks. Can somebody explain that to me? Okay, because I think four years for makeup is probably past the expiration date. I'm just saying, okay? But anyway, she says on here, POV, you're still using Jaclyn Hill's contaminated lipsticks four years later. I, and then underneath there, she says, I get a warm, fuzzy feeling every time, okay? Now, what was interesting to me was yesterday when I looked at the TikTok. Now, y'all have to remember, okay? Miss Kathleen Hill, Kardashian, she got me blocked on the Instagram, okay? So, unless somebody points me in the direction of something, I don't typically go into her Instagram maybe every three or four days, okay? I got a side account. She don't got me blocked in there. I go into the side account. Here, I'll show it to you right here. Just so, for, for, so Jaclyn Hill, when she's watching this video, even though she don't watch, um, she says she don't watch, uh, what do you call it, uh, drama hate videos. Here it is. I got Jaclyn Hill's uh, Instagram pulled up right here on my side account. Here she is. Here's her Instagram account, Jaclyn Hill. You can see right here. Okay. So I can get into her account whenever I want, okay? But when people send me things on my main account, she got me blocked, okay? So 
I can't see it. So all these people, and I didn't know that she had posted this TikTok on her Instagram, okay? And all these people were sending it to me and they were saying, oh my God, people are going crazy. People are upset about this and whatever. Well, I had already seen it on the TikTok, okay? And so I had already made my video and I was like, well, on the TikTok, people are singing her praises. People are like, you know, hallelujah chorus, Jaclyn Hill, we love you. We love these lipsticks. Come out with these lipsticks again. You know, return the return of the lipsticks. I mean, everybody was singing her praises, right? And I thought it was interesting. I thought it was so interesting that not one person had issue with the fact that she was making fun of this. Now, there were several people that were like, oh, now, you know it's a boss ass B-I-T-C-H, okay? They said it, I didn't. And she referred to herself in several of her videos that way as well. You know it's a boss ass, you know what, B, that has really learned her lesson when she can make fun of her own cancellation. Okay, now, I don't know what y'all watched. I don't know if you watched some TikTok of smiling cats or something like that. Um, or that Terry Joe or whoever. I don't know what you all watch, but I'm telling you the TikTok that I watch was not Jaclyn Hill making fun of herself, okay? Because this was Jaclyn Hill making fun of the people that had allegations about the fuzzy lipsticks and the contaminated lipsticks. This was Jaclyn Hill saying there was never anything wrong with these lipsticks to begin with. This is what she was laughing at, right? Now, I, I didn't say this in my video yesterday, but I want to say it today. I went back and I watched her videos. I watched her lipstick video where she addresses all the allegations of the lipsticks and she talks about all this kind of stuff, right? I also went and I watched her follow-up video called Where I've Been, okay? Which is where she had taken months off of social media to run and hide, which she called restructuring her brand, which now we know is probably not even her own brand because court documents have come out and said that it really wasn't ever her brand. She hasn't disputed that. So people that stand behind her and say, there's no truth to that. Could you could you show me the documentation contrary to that? Because I look it up probably on a weekly basis to see there, there have been amendments to these court documents and there's not. I mean, to this day, the court documents still show that Jaclyn Hill was never the CEO, the CFO, the founder. She was nothing except for a paid participant in Jaclyn Cosmetics basically to be the face of Jaclyn Cosmetics, okay? So when you can prove that to the contrary, I'll get on I'll get on video and own it all day long, okay? But there's it's not just me that's talking about it. It's many people that have talked about it. And there's been no amendment to these court documents to this day, okay? So um, I don't understand how people can come out and say that. But whatever, it doesn't matter. So Jaclyn Hill, she comes out in this Where I've Been video and talks about how she fired all these people and she rehired people and she's restructuring people. Both videos, her lipstick video and her Where I've Been video, is very much appealing to the masses. Now, yesterday I said that I felt like it was performative. It was 100% performative, okay? Because here you are, four years later, and what she's doing is totally cracking a joke at the lipsticks, okay? And saying that there was nothing really wrong with them, and I still use them, and if I still use them, then there was obviously nothing wrong with the contaminated lipsticks. She puts them in parentheses because it was funny, right? Okay. But at that time, it was so serious that you came out in a video and you took full responsibility for it. Not only that, but you came out in a further video and said that you were so thankful for the experience and apologized to the person that had first brought it to your attention, that you like nailed, you know, to the cross. And then you thanked everybody that had sent you pictures because it really educated you on what was going on and encouraged people to contact customer service and whatever, okay? Now, the reason why I called it performative was because she was trying to perform to make it look a certain way, okay? That she really cared about her audience which she doesn't. She only cares about her almighty dollar and protecting her reputation because it's so obvious that four years later she is showing something completely different. She's saying, making a joke that she's still using her contaminated, she puts it in parentheses because what she's saying is they weren't ever contaminated. Well, girl, you got in a video and you said they were contaminated. You said there were problems with it and things like that, right? Okay, so were they contaminated or were they not contaminated? I'm confused. Could you please explain that to me? So anyway, um, but what's so interesting is that when you watch these videos from four years ago, which like I said, I watched them one time speed all the way through each video. I'd watched them in the past already, you know, is that her tune then is completely different than her tune now, right? Which tells you that she was either lying then and she took it very seriously then or she's lying now and she doesn't necessarily feel like it was that important. But what was interesting to me was when I went to the TikToks, I didn't see any negative comments on it. Not one, okay? I mean, literally not one comment. Everybody was like, well, this was interesting. There were a lot of comments on there where people were saying, unbothered queen. 
You know who else they said unbothered Queen about? Michaela Nagara, right? So Michaela Nagara and her good Judy mentor, Jacqueline Hill, are both called unbothered queens when they are put in a position where they are supposed to discuss something that is problematic to their brand, okay? And to just not act like it ever happened or to talk about it is an unbothered queen. No, what that is is a very bothered queen that won't come out and be honest with their audience is what that is. Let's call it for what it is, okay? When you don't want to really address the truth, you want to make fun of the problematic things you, and, and I guess, like, you know, back in the day, I, th the way to deal with scandals was to either, like, take some time off and then come out and do a gray hoodie apology or, you know, to just act like it never happened or whatever. I guess the way in 2023 that you deal with scandals and problematic behavior, as led by Michaela Nagara and Jaclyn Hill and other people that we've seen recently, you know, is to come out and make a joke of the allegations, okay? And to paint a funny picture of it and to say that this is just absolutely ridiculous that you guys are all a joke for even questioning the fact of any of these things, right? Which really is pissing in the faces of your audience if you want to know the truth of how I feel about it, okay? That God forbid your audience would have any legitimate questions about anything whatsoever. So I am starting to get all of these comments from people in DMs. Literally, you guys, more than any issue that I've been covering recently, okay? Seriously, I started getting sent this TikTok that she posted on her Instagram, okay? But I couldn't see it because when I go to my Instagram, okay, hold on a second. Let me go to my, oh, hold on a second. Let me go back to my um, Instagram and I will show you what happens when you're blocked on Instagram and somebody sends you this and you can't see it. Hold on just a second. Um, because a couple people in Heather, I did ask, I said, okay, what it says is message unavailable. This content may have been deleted by its owner or hidden by their privacy settings. You may be able to view it on Instagram, okay? And so I said to this person, I can't see it. What is it? And they sent it to me, right? And this person said she thinks it's funny. People are not happy in the comments. And I said, thank you for sending it to me. And um, what was interesting to me was I was getting lots of DMs from people saying so many people are unhappy with Jacqueline Hill in the comments. And I'm like, I just read all these comments on TikTok. Where are people unhappy with Jaclyn Hill? Like, I'm not seeing it at all. Well, I don't know if Jaclyn Hill is blocking people on TikTok or deleting comments or whatever, but when I went to her Instagram where she had posted this, baby, baby girl, dump a baby in a corner, it's a completely different story, okay? People are not happy with Jaclyn Hill over here. People have huge issues with Jaclyn Hill. I mean, I, like, I'm like i just going through screenshot for screenshot after screenshot of all of the things that people post over there. People have huge issues. You want to talk about the, the catchphrase of Jaclyn Hill in 2023? The word entitled spoiled brat came up in so many comments, I could not even believe it, right? Those are not my words. Those are the words of people leaving the comments. And what was interesting to me about this is... Jaclyn Hill must have a new release, and I have to believe that she is re-releasing these lipsticks because she is trying to hype up. She's been doing this recently where I would say every two to three weeks, she releases something and talks about these lipsticks when nobody else is talking about them. And I was sitting there thinking about this after I filmed this video yesterday. I was like, you know, Jaclyn Hill, like there's got to be an MO to why she's doing this. So she must, because a lot of people were like, please release these lipsticks. Please re-release these lipsticks, whatever. She must be planning to re-release these lipsticks because that can be the only reason why she's trying to hype it up. All this attention around these lipsticks that people that bought them, that did get contaminated lipsticks will be like, well, maybe I'll try them again. And the people that are loving them on TikTok will already buy them because they want them so bad. And so she's trying to hype up drama around the lipsticks again because she's going to re-release so I have to believe that that's the case because Jaclyn Hill, like Daniel Prada, he, neither one of them move unless they're making some money, right? By the way, Prime Day is coming up on the 11th and Prime Day is when Amazon affiliates make a higher percentage rate because things are being sold for a sale. I guarantee you Jaclyn Hill and Jordan will be selling their ass off on Amazon on those days. Trust, okay? It's, it's Jan July 11th, so pay very close attention on July 11th to Jaclyn and Jordan and her sister's um, Amazon affiliates links because I have a feeling they'll be popping off that day. Okay, so let's read some of these comments, shall we? Hold on a second. Got all of the comments again. So somebody said, wow, this is gross. I'm not sure why you put quotes around contaminated. They were proven to be. If you're so confident they're safe, post the lab results you told everyone you paid for and would post, which she never did, but never did. People trust you with your recommendations and telling people that you use 40-year-old lipsticks that have contamination is stupid. Please don't do this because Jacqueline said it's okay. Human garbage behavior is what somebody said. 
Somebody else said, you've learned nothing from that experience. Sad. I'm out. This post is too much for me. For me. It's not funny. It's damn insolent. Now, what I have to tell you that's so interesting to me about this, and the only reason I can think that she would allow these comments to remain, because Jacqueline Hill her, herself came out and said that she was going to be blocking people and deleting comments of people that were too mean to her. So the fact that she's allowing them means that she wants to hype up conversation about these lipsticks and the algorithm on this post, okay? Because the more comments that it's getting, the more attention that it's getting, the higher the algorithm is going to be, the more people are going to see it. And the more people that are talking about her lipsticks, if she is re-releasing these lipsticks, this is why she's doing it, okay? So let me go on and read you more of these comments. Having a whole apology video for them, then making a video joking or mocking them years later is really distasteful. Makes it seem like you were never sorry to begin with. Shaking my head. This is a prime example of tone deaf. Let's just say that you keep the lipstick that's not contaminated, but you can't deny the fact that there are people out there that receive the contaminated lipsticks. Why put your focus on your past mistake and not simply focus on relaunching the better improved formula? This post is straight mockery to your previous customers that received the contaminated batch. And I have to say, on the heels of this comment, one of the things that was interesting to me was that in her first video, the lipsticks was not well received. Her second video of where I've been when she's trying to get very human with her audience and apologize and take responsibility and say she doesn't want to victimize herself, it was pretty well received. If Jaclyn Hill had stuck with that through the years, and when each incident came out, whether it was the Cozy brand or the Marlena Stell thing, or her brand not being her own brand and filing bankruptcy, if she had come out in a video and addressed those things and just said, hey, I need to be honest with my audience, like she said in that, so she could not be honest with her audience, right? Her career might be faring a lot better today than it did. She might not have, have to be moving things around from Cozy Brand to Jaclyn Roxanne. I mean, Jaclyn Roxanne is a jewelry brand. Why she's moving blankets and robes over to the Jaclyn Roxanne brand is, is mystifying to me. Unless she's getting ready to get rid of the Cozy Brand, I don't know, okay? But she's doing all this shift, shifting around and all this. It's very confusing to me, right? So... I'm not sure why that is, but if Jaclyn Hill, if that was her attempt at being authentic back then, on her second video, people seem to receive it well. That would have been a good model to follow through the years whenever encountering a scandal is to come out and just be genuine and authentic with your audience and take ownership over your actions. This bitchy look of coming out and making a joke about your own scandal, this is not her owning her own mistakes, okay? This is poking fun at the people that had issues with it. There's a huge difference, okay? And I don't know where people aren't seeing this, but this isn't Jaclyn Hill making fun of her own scandal or owning it or anything like that. Not whatsoever. This is her making fun of the fact that people call them contaminated. She came out herself and called them contaminated. But let me prove that to you if you don't believe me by the comments that are left underneath here, okay? Contaminated in quotes as if they weren't? Wow, new level here. You create your own problems. It's not funny or cute to rip people off, lie, and scam people, which is sad because I used to look up to you and really value your opinion. Not classy, not funny, not cute. So when Jordan and Jacqueline want to come out and say that it's haters that are coming for Jacqueline, not her fans, here's somebody that said... Um, I used to look up to you and really value your opinion. This was a former fan of hers, okay, that no longer wants to follow her. Why? Because of Jacqueline's own doing. But Jacqueline can't take responsibility for that and always says, people are so cruel, people are bullies, people are make fun of me, this is why, blah, 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 whatever, okay? Jacqueline can't take any responsibility to see that it's her own stupid actions that are causing her fans to run away, right? Um, somebody said, love you, but that's not funny. Okay, another, apparently another hater. How can you make a joke about something so serious that all happened because of you? This is just so tone deaf and distasteful. But so is everything that comes from her, so why am I surprised? Somebody said, this is dumb. You complain about people talking crap, but here you are. And that's exactly right. I don't want to hear anybody ever say to me again, Peter, you joking about these lipsticks, that, that happened so long ago. Listen, Jaclyn Hill has no problem coming out and making a TikTok joking about these lipsticks, and I'm going to continue to do the same thing. If Jaclyn Hill can make jokes about it, then so can I, okay? Sorry, but this post isn't okay. I legit pulled long hairs out of my lipsticks. I think it's great you keep saying you've moved on from this difficult time, but don't say there was nothing wrong with them and put contaminated in quotes. Meanwhile, you released an entire apology video about it. Hopefully one day you'll stop your denial era and own up to all your F-ups. This wasn't cute. The moment you show the world your lack of gratitude because you've become an entitled brat is what somebody said. 
somebody said, ooh, this isn't sitting right with me at all. It's kind of gross, to be honest. Don't mock the people who felt ripped off by you. You've done so well to re rebuild your brand, to be one that can be trusted, and this kind of shits all over those who spent money on something and got crap quality, which you apologize for. This gives me the ick. Somebody said, so you scam your followers into buying effed up lipsticks and laugh about it? Okay, sis. Uh, whatever happened to the results from the people you hired to look into what happened? Uh, you refunded everyone who bought them, so it's odd to use quotations around contaminated. That's a very fair question, I think, and that's not mean, and that's not from a hater. Jacqueline said she hired six scientists, to, and that she was going to come out and let us know the results of those six scientists. We, to this day, have never heard anything about what those scientists found. And why did you refund your customers if they weren't contaminated and there was nothing wrong with them when you came out in your own video and said that there were hairs and things on the li in the lipsticks, okay? That means that they were contaminated. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where they came from. If they came from gloves in your factory or whatever, they were still contaminated, Jacqueline. Okay. So anyway, um, somebody said, "Girl, that was a huge f up. Not cute." Um, somebody said, "I mean, they were contaminated." So I don't know why that's in quotations. Um, somebody said, "The quotes certainly make it seem like you think there was nothing wrong with what happened." Looks like Marlena was right. Somebody said, um. Girls, stop asking for attention and start actually doing something. Somebody said, so are we not taking account accountability again because you say contaminate, con con contaminated? I truly think she is tone deaf. Um, somebody said, so the people saying I still use mine like the contaminated ones? And why are you using quotes around contaminated? So that would be a good question, you know? Um... Somebody said, this is why people stay dragging you because even Jacqueline can't help herself from dragging herself. Somebody said, not the flex you think it is. Somebody said, F this, you entitled brat, grow up. Um, somebody said, this says everything about your attitude uh, towards your customers. On camera, there are excuses and an apology. Off camera, laughing and counting money. And I fully agree with that comment. I think that comment... 100% encompasses Jaclyn Hill. When it, when it, you know, works to Jaclyn Hill's, um, you know, storyline and her narrative to be the victim and everybody's so mean to me and this is why I'm not on Twitter is because everybody's so mean to me. But then you throw up something like this, okay, and you wonder why this is, this does not fall right and that your own customers who said that they used to look up to you and that were fans of yours take issue with this. And you guys, I literally went through and just pulled like 20 comments. It's hundreds if not hundreds of comments okay on the tiktok there are definitely more negative comments than positive comments on there that people have issues with jacqueline hill posting this tiktok and this instagram reel or story or whatever you want to call it okay so the fact that this is how jacqueline hill if jacqueline uh, hill is to me very much says that she is one way on camera which is performative for her audience because she wants your her audience to think she's so relatable she's so nice she's so kind she's so compassionate which people still buy into and say right and off camera this is who Jaclyn Hill is all right like I said yesterday she's the girl who gets canceled and wears a canceled dress to a Halloween party she's the girl that takes responsibility in an apology video and says that she is so happy for the experience that she went through and she's so sorry to people and she feels embarrassed and this is the worst thing she's ever gone through for four years later for her to be making fun of the people that had issues with her contaminated lipsticks that she came out and said we're contaminated. This is who Jaclyn Hill is, okay? The queen of taking no accountability. So, for me, I can't support that anymore. Y'all do what you want, okay? Y'all want to continue to put money in this woman's pockets? That's your business, okay? I cannot believe when people are like, but her makeup is so good. Are you telling me there is not a finer makeup company out there? Probably for cheaper, that you can't put your, po your money in their pockets? That aren't as problematic as Jaclyn Hill. Because I can't believe that Jaclyn Hill is the end all of all makeup. Okay? Especially when she had contaminated lipsticks. So, you know, it is what it is. But this, to me, is not a, is not a good look. Especially when you go through there and you see... And I read two of them. When you see how many people are calling her an entitled brat. Okay? I mean, it's unbelievable. And she's a 30-plus year old woman being called a brat. That's what her fans think. That's what her audience thinks. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.